A lot of people don't know this, but the Air Force actually has the ability to refuel aircraft in the air. And that's my job. I'm Master Sergeant Ryan Cornell. I'm an in-flight refueling specialist in the United States Air Force. I'm more commonly referred to as a boom operator. A boom operator is uh, responsible for operating the air refueling system at the tail end of the aircraft in what's known as the boom pod. The Air Force needs in-flight refueling in order to extend how long other aircraft can remain on station. So we could be going anywhere from uh, 200 to 315 knots, and you're using what's called a rotor control stick to fly this boom around, using its control surfaces, lining it up with the receiver's receptacle, and you're using your telescoping lever to reach out and make contact. And then from that point, the uh, pilots will flip some refueling pumps on, and then that's when gas is being released to the receiver. The whole time you're on your belly, you're talking to the receiver, you're also talking to your pilots, letting them know what's going on, keeping them in the loop, painting them a picture. Your job is to not only offload the gas, but to keep everyone safe. Some of the different aircraft that we can refuel on flight include A-10s, B-1s, B-2s, C-17s, C-5s, F-16s, F-22s, F-35s. I enjoy refueling the F-22s a lot. They're pretty stable aircraft and uh, they look really cool. I was a uh, medical logistics technician prior to this job. I always wanted to fly. I was able to get onto an incentive flight to see firsthand what boom operators actually do. From that moment, I was sold. The training to become a boom operator is pretty extensive. A couple months of ground training. You also go through uh, simulator training to get you prepared for what you would actually be seeing and doing in the aircraft. From there, you roll into flight training, and basically you tie in all your ground training under the, the supervision of an instructor. Good set of skills to have uh, if you want to be a boom operator. You definitely want to have a good head on your shoulders, be personable, willingness to learn. You can't be afraid to speak up. You are there to back your pilots up and let them know if you see anything you know, dumb, different, or dangerous. I'm a third set of eyes, so I might see a light come on that they didn't notice and bring it to their attention, or I might hear a radio call that was missed. The crew camaraderie, you're looking out for not only yourself, but you're looking out for your crew members. You're looking out for the receiver pilots. It's a crew effort, and we're all doing what we can to keep everybody safe. It's an amazing thing that we get to do. It's a front row seat to see everything. I feel like I have the best job in the United States Air Force.